Well, we're heading down the road, got the skiff hooked up back here, and we're gonna see what it'll do today. I don't know, you know, what it's gonna do, but we're just gonna have to find out. I'm hoping and praying that everything goes good and it'll run. And I've got some jugs in the back, fishing rod, and if it does run, I may throw out some jugs and just give it a try. So I haven't been jug fishing in a long time. It's what I grew up doing with my dad and my grandpa. They, my grandpa would take me during the week and my dad would take me on the weekend. So that was just kind of part of my life growing up. And I haven't done it in a long time. So I'm gonna try it again. And I'd like to take my grandpa back down to the lake we used to always fish. I was talking to him about it the other day. And I've talked to him about it for a while, but the skiff just hasn't ran. and. It's been one thing after another, so we're on the way. We're gonna see what happens, and hopefully we make it there, and hopefully she runs. So we're gonna see. Well, we made it out on the lake. I got it in with not too many issues, so all there is to do is try. So here we go. Holy crap. You can see it, I don't know. But up in here is where I normally fish and the wind's blowing like crazy and it's, it's chocolate soup. So I may throw one or two out here, but I think I'm gonna probably end up going back down the lake near the boat ramp. Well, the wind has been running around the lake a little bit, caught some bait, and the wind is just, I don't know if you can see it out there, but it is whipping. And I put in way down there, ran way up the lake, and it was logs and sticks and mud. So I ran back down here and got my jugs ready, caught some bait, and now this, not kind of out of the wind here some, because if I put them out there, they would just be skiing, and you'd have to put about two ounces of lead on them to keep them down and in the fish and i'm not doing all that so over here it's kind of broke a little bit i fished here before in the past and it drops off about right where i am it's about 12 feet and then it goes to 30 feet so i'm going to start them right here winds are going that way i'm going to start them right on this ledge and then they're going to just go that way so hopefully we'll get something but i'm going to get the boat in the right position and hopefully we can catch something all right, so I've got her going. We're in right at the right on the drop off right now. I'm looking at the map and looking at the top topography line. So all I'm gonna do, I've got the trolling motor going. Just stagger them out a little bit. So hopefully we get something here. I've had good luck here in the past, but we'll see how it goes. The way the weather has been, it's rained like every day forever it seems like and the water has been way up and way dirty so, and it kind of arcs right here so I'm kind of following this and I've got my jugs kind of staggered in length and they're anywhere from 12 to about 15 so I always try to keep at least 15 feet Let's 
see, he just jerked on it again. You, it's kind of hard to tell with little fish, but normally when they go away from the pack like those are, I think it's got one on it. So I'm gonna give it a second, yep. I think we're good, I think we got one. Holy crap, that thing just went under. When it goes under, or they pull these big noodles under, that's normally a pretty good fish. Well, I think we got one. So this one just hit, so he's gonna be pretty frisky. <laughs> oh, there it is. So we're gonna go get him there. And I probably should have checked the GoPro and make sure I was good, but hopefully uh, I'm close enough. Alright. Oh, that's like a good one. Oh shoot. Oh buddy. That's what I'm talking about. He's a little big to just pull in. There we go. <laughs> yeah well that's about a 20 pounder it's been a while i knew whenever he hit that was a good one but that is awesome well we got one so that's not a bad kitty cat very slimy that's a pretty good one right there so I'm tickled to death and you know, I'm just glad to be out here and have the boat running somewhat. And I guess still got a little, you know, tweaking to do, but that's a pretty good catfish right there. So, you know, I'm gonna be happy with it. And we're gonna go ahead and let him go. Well, that's a pretty good one, but got to let him go back and grow up and make babies. Well, here we go, fish number two. I've been messing with my GoPro. It's been acting up, not wanting to work right. But uh, we're heading to the next one. He's took it a long way. I haven't seen him really stand it up, so I have no idea how big he is, but I'm about to find out. I've messed with the motor, messed with the camera for a little bit. And now I'm chasing down a catfish. There we go. He's not too awful bad. <clears throat> Fast though. I think I got his number. Get that motor cut off. Oh, here we go. He wants to come to the other side. There we go. Not bad. About a 10 pounder. So it's definitely better than nothing, that's for sure. I gotta remember how to turn the beeps back on my camera. It keeps. Oh. It keeps going on and off. And whenever I hit record, I don't know if it's recording or not so i got to get the beeps going these aren't the best pliers for this he swallowed it but this is definitely a good eating size so he might just be going in the cooler oh put him in the live well hopefully he makes it uh unfortunately did not bring ice i plan on keeping them to eat i always bring ice with me but uh I didn't really know if I was gonna get to go fishing or not because I didn't know if the boat was gonna run. So I'm just kind of winging it. This one up, didn't even know there's anything on it. Yeah, we got a little one. I got myself in a little bit of a cluster trying to get them all up and it was just getting to be a lot. So I picked them all up and they're getting close to the other side and reset them. So hopefully we'll pick up another couple on this drift. But this is probably gonna be the last one of the day because of course my uh, SD car is full on my GoPro.
so I had to erase some footage earlier of catching bait and stuff so that's not going to be in there but hopefully I'll have enough to catch one or two more we'll see how it goes but that green one I don't know it ain't moved no more so maybe something just hit it and that was it but I'm just kind of drifting along with them keeping an eye on them and making sure I don't lose any of them because the wind is crazy today and I don't know this lake is notorious for eating jugs I don't know if it seems like almost every drift you can't find one as you can look for hours and you'll never find it it's like they'll go I don't know if there's logs on the bottom or what but it's like they'll grab them take them down like a really big one 40 50 pounder take it down under a log and then you'll never see it again but so I'm going to try to stay with them and keep a good eye on them and just make sure if we get a big one I can get it hopefully yeah we got one on I'm on I found actually lost one I couldn't find it and it was just in the back of the boat so I'm gonna go ahead and drop it out and go get that one because it's going pretty good I'm like maybe I'm gonna say 10 pounds no oh, he just took off pretty good so this is actually gonna be the fourth one the uh, last one, me and the GoPro didn't get along so good, if we can get him. But, uh, so, took a photo instead of a video. So that was great. But it ended up getting off right on the gunnel. And it was a nice little channel cat, about eight pounds. So we're getting somewhere. Well, me and this GoPro aren't getting along, but he almost looks identical to the last one. But that's number four. I can't tell. He's probably about the same size. I'll have to look at photos and see but these circle things do the trick they do not want to come out when you get them but you just got to twist them real good it's another nice one right there so it's not every day you come and you can catch two 15 20 pounders but so far we're doing pretty good so this one's i got one in the live well that's about all i need so i'm gonna let this one go as well but that's a pretty good fish all right oh, always tearing me up that's a pretty good one. Well, we'll come back and catch him again one day. Well, we got another one on. I'm having to improvise with my phone. I'm sorry for the wire in the way. It's just the only way. We're down to six jugs. I only caught a couple brim because I wasn't planning on fishing long anyway. But the fishing's been really good, so I kind of wish I would have caught a couple more. So they're all scattered out everywhere now. But uh, we're just gonna keep on drifting and just try to keep a good eye on them so we don't lose any. But so far, we're doing good. Well, it's not been like three or four minutes. And that one right there just got smoked and went all the way under for oh that might be a good one so i think i'm gonna give it a minute these big ones oh yep that might be a good one well i think he's looked good i'll give him about five minutes to let him get a little energy out so maybe he won't pull off when i go to get him but i think it's time all right here we go Let's see what we got pulled up on it and it didn't go crazy so I don't think it's nothing huge but you never know these things oh, 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 oh that's a big one. Oh god yep that's gonna be bigger than I think oh nice that's what I'm talking about there we go that's a good one. That's another one about 15 pounds. So heck yeah. Heck yeah. So that's another one. He's about 15 or so, I'd say. So that's a good one. Well, we got, we kept that one channel cat and we got that one blue. 
It's about 10 pounds that got hooked deep. So get this line off of it. Time to go back. So all these are, are pool noodles, the great big ones from Walmart. And take a piece of rope with a big washer on both ends and tie loop knots on them. And then attach about 15 to 20 feet of line, depending on how deep you're gonna fish. You want it a couple feet up off the bottom always so it doesn't get hung up. And then just the egg weight that would take a big pair of pliers and crimp down to keep it in place. And eight alt circle hook of your choice. So you use Gamagatsu, Owner's Eagle Claws. I think it's a mix between these. About every one of these jugs has a different brand hook. So to me, one of the most important things is fresh bait, fresh bait, fresh bait. So one thing I've noticed in the past is I used to always try to catch a bait before I'd come so I could just get the jugs right in the water. Well, I'd throw them out and then I'd go catch bait at the lake, at the lake I was fishing. And wouldn't catch anything. I put that fresh bait on, that fresh bait from the lake that I was fishing and I mean it was 10 to 1. I mean you can catch them that way but I just think it's way better to have fresh bait from the lake that you caught it on and catch enough bait, spend a little time, go ahead and I didn't do it today. I normally do if this was going to be an all-day thing but this is just a, a trial run of the boat. So I mean I would just always have fresh bait every time you do a drift go ahead and put fresh bait on again and that seems to be the key to success with jug fishing and cat fishing in general in my opinion but you know that's just some things i've picked up over the years and you know my grandpa he would always try to get bait before we go and we use it and then we go try to catch bait because the little lake that he loves to fish is doesn't have any dogs on it so it's hard it's always hard to catch brim there but it just never seemed to work out quite the way we hope but that just seems to be what works best for me well it's been about 10 15 minutes and they've drifting like crazy i was just right back there watching waiting on those two hoping that maybe one of them would go and that pink one just went crazy as i was pulling way over here because i spotted one off way in the distance so i don't know how it got out here it keeps shading and then sun and whenever there's sun you can see it like right now i can't even find it i don't know where it went but i know it's out there there it is it's way on out there all right here we go well it feels pretty decent Oh, it's a baby. Nice little channel cat though. Channel cats fight way harder, seems like to me. But we got one. Well, we're down to two jugs. I've been fishing them all the way across one more drift and just kind of picking them up and throwing them back out, depending upon bait. And so I'm out of bait now. So we're down to two jugs. So I think we're getting close to the bank over here. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to call it go ahead and get these things put up put on the trailer go home clean this catfish and cook some dinner oh bumpy well we got the boat all loaded up and headed back home and it was a pretty good day we had a good day of fishing and i don't know what's wrong with the motor something's up because it ran perfect I was so happy. I was just ecstatic that that thing was running just perfect and just cruising along and high RPM all the way up. It was going like 29 miles an hour. And then I was going down the lake. It was really choppy and running and something happened. I don't know what it was, but it just started sputtering just a touch and then just lost power. So I've got about three fourths power now, which is good. I went from half to three fourths. So that's an improvement. And I don't know what in the world's going on with it now. It really acted like something kind of choked up the carburetors. And I'm going to have to pull them off again, I guess, and go through them and clean them. But I don't know. I don't know. Yet. But I messed with it a bunch after I got done fishing. And I was thinking maybe it was in the throttle linkages. But I messed with those a bunch. And I think those are good. It's just something. I think something's got it choked up, bogging it down. So... I don't know, we'll figure it out. I feel a lot better about it now. At least I can get down the lake at 20 miles an hour. It just won't go 29, which I'm happy with. But 
I need that little bit of extra power for when I get more people and not just by myself and get more weight in the boat. Well, we got the one and it's not a bad little catfish. I did keep that channel cat, but it got relocated. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing cleaned up. I don't want to show too much of it. So I know YouTube's got a little funny about that. So, well, I got that catfish all cleaned up and I've got two great big old fillets. So I'm gonna try a little experiment on these things. I'm gonna soak them in, I'm gonna do one in white vinegar and one in pickle juice, just to see. I've tried the pickle juice before, but I wanna see what white vinegar will do. And it definitely takes a lot of any muddy or kind of fishy taste out. So I'm gonna give it a little try and see. I haven't let my wife try it yet. That's gonna be the real determining factor. I only need one of these fillets for dinner. And the other one, I've got paper towels in the bottom of the bag. I'm going to seal it up real tight. And it'll stay good that way for a couple days. All right, so I got some dill pickles in here. And I'm going to put about that much. Probably a quarter cup, half cup maybe. And I'm going to let that set for an hour. And the other one, I'm going to put a little bit of white vinegar. And I've got egg wash, half flour, half jiffy, Cajun seasoning, and crab chips that are crushed up. So the cocktail I made, ketchup, lemon juice, horseradish, Cajun seasoning. Well, it's all done. And this one is the vinegar. You don't taste the vinegar, but there's not really any fishy in there at all. And this one is the dill pickle. So out of the two, the dill pickle wins. So I think that's the go-to. Well, after I tried a couple pieces of the fish, I think the vinegar is actually better. The dill pickle juice does leave some dill pickle flavor in the fish. And I mean, it's pretty good if you really like dill pickles. I'm not super crazy about them, but I think the white vinegar is the way to go. So that's gonna be it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. It definitely has been a while since I did a fishing video and probably maybe one of my better ones, we'll see. But uh, hopefully I can start doing a lot more of those now and try to free up some time to make more fishing videos and quit working on stuff quite so much but still tons of stuff to work on but i hope you liked the video please subscribe check out the skiff build if you haven't seen it and we'll see you next time